Yo, what's good boys? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download and use park control. So if you guys do enjoy this video, do be sure to drop a like and subscribe. It would be so much appreciated by me. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right onto the video. All right, boys. So what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to go on Chrome. And then what you guys want to do is search up park control. And then you guys can just click the link in the description. It is park control. Or you guys can just look it up. You guys can do whatever you want. But I would recommend just click the link in the description. It'll automatically bring you there. So yeah, you're just going to want to click on it. And then it should bring you up to this page right here. And you guys can just click the 64 bit right here. And it should download it. Or you guys can just click right there. And then open it. Okay, and then click yes if it does come up with a prompt it's going to make you do that and just click okay agree next install okay that's all you guys are going to want to do and it should pop up right here all right guys so once you guys do have the park control application open what you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to come down here and select the profile you guys want to click bits and highest performance okay and then what you guys want to do is make sure parking ac parking dc frequency scaling ac frequency scaling dc you guys want to make sure these are all disabled and all 100 percent okay so make sure these little sliders are all to the maximum okay and then you guys are going to want to come down here and click bits and dynamic boost enabled make sure this is enabled so basically what this is what this is going to do is it's going to disable any of the i think threads that are not in use while you're say over here in the windows home screen okay so so let's say your computer's not used but you do have it on it's going to shut all of those off that you don't need okay but while you're gaming it's gonna have every single one of them on to get you the best performance possible and then you guys can just click show power plan change notifications okay you can just leave that on it doesn't matter okay and power options what you guys want to do is make sure you click power options and make sure this is on bit some highest performance okay provides bits of optimized cpu performance okay so you guys are going to 100 percent make sure this is exactly what it's on it's going to put everything to the max possible okay give you the best fps possible and then what you guys want to do is click make active and then click apply and then make sure that every single green bar in here is either not grayed out or they're all green or show some sort of green okay now if you're not in a game or something it's not going to do that but it shouldn't and if it does it's all right okay but for some reason i have a lot of applications open so mine shows a lot of green okay so that's good you're going to want to make sure that all of these are exactly doing that pretty much okay and you guys can click okay and then every time you do turn on your pc it should automatically start but if it doesn't all you're going to want to do is just make sure that you guys do open the application okay. all right guys it is the end of the video i hope you guys did enjoy it do make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys did make it to the end and yeah hope you guys do have a great rest of your day or night wherever you guys are and peace out